Welcome to another episode of The Epic, Epic Family, Family Road Trip. Road Trip. Last week on the Epic Family Road Trip, we had an amazing time with family friends here in the great state of Texas at their ranch and beautiful cottage on the Gulf of Mexico. Good morning, another day in paradise here. We've got used to the golf cart just to go ripping around. We've been doing some walking, throwing the ball for the dog. The kids are up riding the bikes. Just having a lot of fun here. This week, we got to stay a few extra days at their cottage to relax and get organized before heading to the Padre Island National Seashore. It was really nice to stay a few more days as some rainy weather settled in. All right, we're right at the beginning of uh, the Padre Island National Seashore. Uh, we came here a couple of years ago and made it down maybe halfway not quite halfway because of uh, weather and high tides we had to turn around but uh, we are going to try to do the entire 60 miles this time it's going to be fun and we're taking you with us After airing down our tires, we headed down the beach to find a nice quiet spot to set up camp for the night before the offshore rain moved in. Well, Lando has not stopped running since we got here. Um, this is his kind of place, nice soft sand and he can just go full speed. One crazy dog, I don't know where he gets the energy. All right, we got camp set up. It's supposed to rain and you can see that it looks like the rain's coming in. So we were gonna make a fire, but we're probably gonna hold on that. And we're not gonna set up any more uh, infrastructure than we need. So we'll probably get some lights going in our tent and uh, when it's raining and uh, play some cards or something before bed. So tomorrow we'll get up and continue down the beach, uh, Padre Island National Seashore. Beautiful, beautiful place.
we just climbed up the dune here a little bit from camp and behind me you can see a vast how vast the dunes are they go for a long distance and there's the full 60 miles and actually they go beyond that um, and they've been fully restored with all the dune grasses and natural uh, flora and fauna that keeps the the dunes from blowing so i think it was back in the 50s and before that they used to graze cattle through here and uh, what happened over time the the grasses went away and it turned into blow sand so for for almost a decade or more it, it was just a there was obviously no vegetation to hold the sand down it would blow all over and they'd lose a lot of the dunes and so on so they did a restoration project and uh, now you see a fully natural dune behind me very healthy there's wildlife in here last time we were here there was a herd of deer going through just a beautiful beautiful place and uh, you can hear behind us on that side is the Gulf of Mexico and the waves are just rolling in. So we're looking forward to a uh, great night's sleep. It might be a little, uh, little rainy and windy, but uh, what do you expect? We're on the ocean. The next morning brought sunshine and clearing skies, and it's looking like a beautiful day is ahead. packed up our camp here uh, that was the first time putting the tent down in in a bit of a wind uh, windstorm and sandstorm but it, it worked well um, the beauty is there's a zipper at the bottom of the the floor so you don't have to worry about sweeping it out as you shake it every all the sand comes out the bottom you zip it back up and you're good to go so we're loving the tent so far and this being our first time on the on the sand with uh, a trailer We've aired down both the Jeeps and uh, we're not having any problems so far. The sand gets softer as we go, so we'll see what happens down there, but I'm pretty sure we'll be all right. Padre Island National Seashore is the longest undeveloped barrier island in the world. The island separates the Gulf of Mexico from Laguna Madre, one of the few hypersaline lagoons in the world. The park protects 66 miles of coastlines, dunes, prairies, and wind tidal flats teeming with life. Many people come to Padre Island to fish and relax on the beach, but you will find that the further down island you travel, you will see fewer and fewer people in vehicles as it gets more remote.
Crazy dog, but yeah, we'll, let me know and we'll pull over. Beautiful spot down at the end here. It widens out. There's a huge beach. Um, we've got a channel right here, so that's that's what divides South Padre from North Padre, I guess. Um, so boats can get in and out, but uh, this would be a great place to camp. we found a nice spot to set up camp by the water. It's beauty, we've made it the full 60 miles and uh, we're actually gonna be camping here at the end now, just kind of in this nice little bay. We're out of the wind or much more than if we were just camping on the side of the shore and this is such a perfect nice spot it's it's gonna be a good campsite
After setting up camp, we made a delicious dinner of shrimp tacos. Super nice. We ended up staying here at the Padre Island National Seashore. We got to the end, we made it to the 60 mile mark, and instead of going part way back to camp, we decided to stay here. And here we are on a private beach, enjoying the sound of the waves, and we have about four dolphins in front of us that are hunting for their dinner. And they're, wow, they're literally a stone's throw away from us, and it's just a fascinating uh, thing to watch. It's like National Geographic live right in front of us. Something we have noticed here at Padre Island is there are some of the most beautiful sunsets. And after a few rainy nights, this vibrant evening sky was a breathtaking sight. Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip as we explore more of the beautiful Padre Island National Seashore before heading to Amarillo, Texas to begin making some big changes to our rigs. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.